Of course I had to try myself some waffles. So I'm going to talk about my trip to Brussels. And it was actually a day trip from London, believe it or not. I took Eurostar from London at around 5.30 in the morning, headed into Brussels. I got there around 8.30 because of the time zone change. It's only a two hour train ride though. And around like seven o'clock, I took Eurostar right back to London. So what did I actually do in Brussels? So it was raining and it was raining hard. But that did not stop me at all. I was wandering around. I hit 30,000 steps. I went to see all the different sites within the city center, whether it was the European Parliament building and sites like the Atomium, Monarchine Peace, and of course, trying all of the Belgium waffles. So starting off, I was unsure where things were. I kind of tried to just wander myself and that didn't really go well. It felt like I was just walking through like the business district and I couldn't really figure out where kind of like the real city center is, the heart of Brussels, where you find all the stands that you know, you find the chocolate stores, but eventually I did find that it's store after store after store, literally on a single block, three waffle stores and four chocolate stores. It is unbelievable. It really, you smell the waffles and chocolate and you have all the people walking and sure there weren't that many people walking because it was pouring rain out, but I was walking because I had to make the most of my day. But Brussels, I found was very fun. I ended up having a little more time than I expected. So I also went to the Atomium. So the Atomium as seen in this clip right here, is this, it's very hard to explain. You see all these balls right here. It's like this cool structure and it takes you to the top and you can oversee the city of Brussels. You can oversee the Belgian countryside. And it's about like a 20 half hour train ride. You take the Metro from the city center out to the Atomium. And uh, from there, it, I think it was about $10 it cost to get to the top. But wow, it was worth it. I love being able to just look out and see the views of the city. I love observation decks and it was well worth it. So afterwards I came back into the city center and of course I had to try myself some waffles. Oh my God, I am a big waffle fan, but there is no better waffle than a Belgian waffle from Belgium. Yeah. The first one I had, believe it or not, was I got a hamburger waffle. As seen right here, I went into this little shop in the city center and it was this waffle and it had burger meat inside of it, mozzarella, cheese, and yeah, it culminated to such a flavorful, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Picture a hamburger, but a wa not the waffle as the bun, but like waffle around the entire thing. I think technically it was actually a pizza, like a pizza burger waffle where they also had tomato sauce on it as well. But then of course I had to try like a real regular Belgian waffle as well. So I got a liege waffle as seen right here. Oh my God the sugar and the dough, it literally melted on your tongue. You know that feeling, a lot of times you'll get it with meat where like you put your mouth on it, your tongue on it, and it feels like it's dissolving onto your taste buds, which we know really it's not, but like that flavor, yeah, that's what was happening. Try a liege waffle, that was my favorite. And then I ended up actually going to a haagen in the train station to get Another waffle, unfortunately I don't have a picture of it, but that was actually my favorite waffle of them all. But all of them, oh my God, I'm willing to go back to Brussels just for a waffle. It was that good. And uh, after that, I headed right back to London on Eurostar. But will I go back to Brussels again? Yeah, yeah, I will. It won't be anytime soon. I won't really do it as a trip that's like, oh, I'm specifically going there, but 
I know sometime in the near future I'm gonna be in London again or Paris and uh, both cities are just it's very easy to shoot up to Brussels as well hopefully I'll be in Amsterdam soon uh, I'll be in Amsterdam this upcoming summer uh, unfortunately I won't have enough time to do a day trip to Brussels again but if I'm in one of those three cities for an extended period of time oh you better believe I'm hitting up Brussels for a day trip if you guys want to check out my most recent video click right here right here where my hand is yeah and make sure to subscribe i appreciate it so much i am going on so many adventures in 2024 so i need you there to watch them experience so many different cultures thank you